Uh, PixArt is a really good app to use. Um, I didn't finish my drawing last week, so I can hit my plus button and go to my original drawing here. I did a lot with it, but you know what? Uh, it looks kind of funky. Okay, uh, funky looking drawings sometimes are successful, sometimes they're not. You know, once you do your, your iPad stuff with it, um, it still looks a little weird. Uh, so maybe I want to turn this into something that it's not. Um, I can crop it down, go to my tools button down below, uh, adjust, maybe I crop out, uh, or tools and crop. Maybe uh, I want to just see this. So I don't show everything. Mr. Ball, that's not paying homage to my drawing. I'm giving you a little bit of free range here to, uh, to, to crop out uh, the really crappy stuff and make it a little less crappy. And this this will deviate from picture to picture, like Mr. Ball, uh, mine sucks a lot. And let's make it not suck a lot. Uh, we'll make it suck a little less or not suck at all. Maybe I have, this is my reference now. Like I really butchered the top of the head, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out part of the top of the head. It's a little bit better. I can go back to my tools, and these are things that you can do just on uh, the iPhoto app, just the, the camera app. Change my saturation. Maybe it looks better as a black and white. I'm gonna oversaturate. Um, maybe I'm gonna boost my contrast a little bit more so it becomes something else. Maybe I wanna do a lot to it. Go down to that effects thing down below. Um, and I did this with the eye last week. Maybe I like rose quartz. Holy crap, that's a lot. Uh, never go full filter. Always pay a little bit of homage to what you have underneath. This is becoming a lot better. It's becoming a lot more digital. It's becoming a lot more interesting. Uh, apply. Maybe I do it again. Don't ever stop at one filter. Don't ever... Don't, don't sell yourself short. There's a million and two different things you can do uh, with these. Maybe I add a Badlands filter on top. That looks cool now, but fade it out a little bit more, apply, uh, go back to my saturation. It starts to look cooler again, more interesting. Maybe I want to do more to it. Maybe I want to uh, see what pop art does. There's a lot of stuff that's avoid things like this. This Andy Warhol thing is really, really trite, overdone, trite, overdone. A little too minimalistic. Grid might look good. Play around with your bars, see what looks better. I could leave it like that. Definitely looks different than my original image. Uh, I can try and go a little bit further with my stuff. Uh, that's the weird thing with um, digital art making is there's so much you can do. There's so much you can do and, and as soon as you hit that apply button, there's not a whole lot of going back. So figure out what works. It looks really interesting. Really takes away from my original image though. If you go full filter, that's definitely too much. Works, works a little bit better, a little bit more interesting. I could leave it like that. 
the more you do, uh, the more uh, you're, you're, you're taking away from your original image. So pay some homage to it. As much as you think it's crappy, um, leave that up to us. Uh, if you think it's crappy, you're going to be your own worst enemy. I get it. Um, your own worst critic, rather. I get it. But don't make us feel like um, anything that we look at is going to be bad. Always be able to defend your artwork. You know what? I busted my butt on this. Um, I may not be as proud of it as I want to be, but uh, the fact that I, I worked diligently, the fact that I worked really, really uh, hard on this, that says a lot in, in and of itself. And a lot of times your artwork, especially in life, um, like looking at it in a gallery is going to to resonate a lot more than um, seeing it on a screen. But for, for what we have, for what we have uh, to work with, um, I promise it resonates a little bit. Those of us who've seen a lot of our work uh, and, and have a little bit more of an appreciation for it will, especially in the grade book, will, we'll, um, we'll capitalize on that for you. Okay. So I took my crappier drawing. I made it into a significantly less crappy um, um, picture digitally I can go to my photos and you know from this and I did that and I did that all in PixArt um, you can turn in any one of those uh, as a graphic design as opposed to a, uh, a traditional painting and drawing kind of thing these things are at your leisure uh, you can do this with a lot of stuff um, I don't know if you guys got the Toon Dream one. This is a fun one to use, especially when we get into uh, caricatures. If I've got a picture of let's go good old St. Ignatius. Like I have all these that I can use to to make a difference. That would be a, a good caricature of of Saint Ignatius. These become a little bit more interesting. That's a, a cool like vectorized thing. You can see what it looks like with my um, I'm drawing here. So, Mr. Bull. That looks cool. Yeah, Mark. We can change it to any like effect and like or like any color as long as we like show a little bit. Like, don't fade it as much and show a little bit of like our original work, right? Pay a little bit of homage to it. This pays a little bit of homage. It is a very small amount in comparison to that, right? And that's because you can see like the original colors. Like, I can. It's not necessarily the colors. I can see uh, a little bit of the form. I can see a little bit of the drawing. I can always go back to your first submission and see your drawing. Okay. Um, this just gives you the opportunity to either show a little bit of prowess with your colored pencils and your pastels and hey, I can, I can render this really cool uh, or a little bit of prowess with uh, your, um, your digital skills. Okay. Okay. Like this, this shows a lot more of, of the original drawing than this one, right? Yeah. But it's it's a matter of what you can appreciate uh, more and what what you like, and what you your aesthetic mind is going. You know what? This looks pretty cool. I could see this printed out large and, and stretched on a canvas and hanging above a a bed or a, a a stool somewhere. Not so much this one. This one maybe, but these two definitely show a lot more homage to the original picture, right? Yeah. All right, thank you. As long as it doesn't look like like one of these squares, you just have a square. If it looks like that, you're not paying homage to your picture. Okay?
Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. And that really goes for you guys that are uh, anxious and, and down on yourself that you, you, you feel like you did poorly. Digital drawing uh, a lot of times will, will take away from that, uh, that feeling of not being successful. There's a lot of artists that, especially since we've had the iPads the last several years that, uh, can't draw for crap, but they're going into uh, Mr. Lennox's design class or um, doing the newspaper and, and working with uh, the yearbook uh, because they're pretty really good with, uh, you know, I can do this in this app and I can apply it to this app and then we'll throw it into Photoshop that Mr. Lennox would show you some things on. Um, and you, you do this called app smashing where it's, it's all right, this was all PixLR or PixArt. Um, and then I throw it into a different app. And I see what I can do with this in a different app. You know, maybe I stylize it and I have that as my, my final piece. Uh, or I want to make that a little bit more uh, saturated. Saturation but it still pays homage to each individual layer. Okay, app smashing becomes a lot more uh, valuable than going from just Photoshop or going from PixArt. Put a frame on it. This is PixLR. I can do a small frame. Whatever. I can do that. So throw it into multiple apps, and then I can throw this back into PixArt. Okay. Um, with all your images, even these portraits, I'm fine with that, uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, especially in a virtual world, we're doing everything digitally anyway. Uh, I would be uh, completely stupid to uh, not afford you guys that opportunity to, to rework your stuff digitally, whether it's drawing or just um, editing in post. I'll get these videos up uh, so that you can see what I haven't had any complaints about the links either. So if you guys have any problems with the, excuse me, the links, let me know.